So yesterday, with no news really on my feed, apparently Starfield released a DLC called Shattered Space. And I'm just, it's just peculiar. We've not really heard nothing about it. Well, I haven't. The reviews are mixed. 42% of the 836 user reviews for this game are positive. Let's look at the top reviews. Unfortunately, many of the reviews here are not related to the DLC. I will give my extra take on Shattered Space, not Starfield. This DLC is an improvement over some of the weaker areas of the base game. Allowing for the devs to spend more time in a smaller area has predictably led to the improvement in the environmental storytelling. It also made it more entertaining to actually move through the city, check all the buildings and engage with the world. Bethesda are a victim of their own marketing, which paints this content in the wrong light as some kind of action-packed epic thriller. Starfield is a Bethesda game, which means it's great for people with any kind of attention Okay, who get easily distracted and just want to shut their mind off for hours at a time. Shattered Space isn't a horse armor DLC like some are asserting, it's just more of the same. Head off to point A to do a quest, get distracted for a couple of hours before getting back on task. So, some of these reviews are good. The first negative review here. If I wouldn't have gotten it included in the edition I bought, I think it would be more disappointed. Immersion? Question? What happened to that? You visit a group of people that supposedly hadn't been visited from anyone in the settled system, but they all still have the same ship parts, weapons and gear. So I think this user's complaining about the immersion. Also, sorry if I sound clammy, I've been ill for the past few days, hence the lack of uploads. For $30, you get a handcrafted planet, 5-6 hours of gameplay, 3 new weapons, 3 or so new armor sets, 0 new companions, 0 new gameplay features, 0 new ship parts, over 100 more loading screens. I've never actually played Starfield myself. I've been waiting for an opportunity to get into it. And when I saw that they actually released a DLC, and it was like Shadow released in my opinion, because I had no idea it came out, I was willing to get a look. But these mixed reviews are so confusing. Like, who, depending on who you are, you're going to get a different opinion about it. When anyone thinks I'm giving Professor another dime. I'm assuming these are screenshots from the game, maybe when it was earlier released. The Juice Head 33 put this about the animations when you shoot the gun. Professor did good with these shattered space animations. From small bits of gameplay like that, I think it looks really cool. These are some screenshots from Lionel Saw's Display Life at Play Life X. So we've got a screenshot of the car here, planets, some debris around a planet. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then the food here. See, the, it doesn't look bad. Now I'm watching this on Twitter because that's where the clip is from. The quality is a bit bushed because it's on Twitter and for some reason if you're not a Twitter paid member you get compressed visuals. Yeah, I like this. But I don't want to invest a lot of money into it if I'm going to get a real naff experience when I get into the game. Reminds me of Fallout. Bethesda game, obviously. But it just gets me wondering, is Bethesda going to make a good Elder Scrolls game when the time comes? Because I'm not going to lie, I've been waiting since 2012, since Skyrim released, for the sequel to news. I know, I know. That was 12 years ago. There is so much hype around the Elder Scrolls sequel. I think it will make or break the company. And the faith that people have got in the game has significantly dropped since Starfield's released. So I, I am concerned about the Elder Scrolls release. I do think if they don't nail it, it's going to be detrimental for the company. They'll survive it though, they always do. But it just annoys me how we used to get good games like Skyrim, which are still being played to this day with the help of mods. So what do you think? Do you think Bethesda is going to pull it out of the bag? Do you think they're going to butcher the next Elder Scrolls game? And what's your thoughts on Starfield? Is it worth investing in? Anyway, take care. I'll see you on the next one.